Mendum TV Sports. Presents Mendum Minutemen Football. This program was sponsored by a generous tax-deductible donation from Salerno Duane Auto Group, Denville, Newton, Summit, and Randolph. We treat the needs of each individual customer with paramount concern. Mendham High School Football Boosters. Support the football program. For further information, go to httpmendhamfootball.com. Somerset Hills Bank. 98 East Main Street in Mendham, the way your bank should be. Mendham Capital Management, financial consultants, www.raymondjames.com slash Mendham Capital Management. The Brewster family, who send heartfelt congratulations to the 2010 Mendham Girls Lacrosse Team, conference, section, group champs, and tournament champion finalists. They also remind you that all sports season passes are available for sale at all ticketed athletic events. Help support Mendham High School Sports. True & Associates Insurance and Surety, Westfield, Clinton, New York City. Our goal is to provide our clients with a cost-effective risk management solution to minimize their exposure to financial loss. www.trueassociates.com Samsung the world's largest electronics company, www.samsung.com slash US. Mendham TV relies on sponsorships to bring you great community-oriented programs like this one. For further information, please email info at mendhamtv.org. You're watching Mendham TV. We will, we will rock it. A good glorious afternoon on a beautiful Saturday here in Mendham on the turf field at Mendham Chester High School for today's Morris County matchup between the Minutemen of Mendham and the Vikings of Parsippany Hills. Hello everybody, I'm Daryl Brewster and I'm here along with the captain Mike Salerno for today's Northwest Jersey American Division uh, tilt. Mike, it's a game something's got to give. Something certainly has to give. 2-0 and four teams, not off to the start that they wanted, obviously. But both teams have been involved in very, very close matchups. Uh, Par Hills losing none of their games by more than a touchdown. And uh, Mendham losing by three points to Morristown and a triple overtime loss to Roxbury. Uh, disappointing effort uh, last week, a tough loss to Central. But uh, both teams should be right there. Should be ready. So something's got to give. Both teams 0-4. Uh, We're getting ready now for the kickoff. Uh, Mendham in the blue uniforms will be receiving. And uh, Par Hills in the white. Goes down to Ryan Harrington, Harrington, number four. Coming up the middle. Up to close to the 30-yard line. Nice run by Ryan. Ran into his uh, cousin over the Colonial uh, before game, getting uh, a sandwich. Grace, his cousin, about nine-year-old. She had just <laughs> lost a tough 5-0 soccer game. But Those she was tough. predicting a win. She tough. was predicting a win for uh, for Cousin Ryan today. They and often she know. also promised a goal in her next game. So uh, to Grace and family and the Harringtons, uh, start, start off there with a, a good run out to about the 30-yard line. Menem will take over. They're going to go to the uh, shotgun. Out of the gate. Matt Crow, number five, the quarterback, the junior. He rolls to his right. 
Looks like he's going to keep it. Throws incomplete. Looking for Purdue. Looking for <coughs> Tyler Purdue, number 83, the senior receiver for Mendham. So Mendham opening up here a little bit here, uh, Mike, in the uh, early going on it, their first play from it scrimmage. It looked to me that Crow was originally trying to get it downfield to La Sorsa, who was well covered by the Vikings. And Tyler made, uh, Purdue made a good effort to come back, realized that Matt was in a little bit of trouble there, came back to try and get the ball. It's what you want to see from your receivers, come back and try and get it when you see your quarterback scrambling around back there, just couldn't get it done. La Sorsa, the sophomore wide right. St. John also in on the left side, Max St. John. Here's a give to Johnny Kuhn. Almost picked that one up. It's out over the 35. They'll mark it looks at the like 36. A, it looks like a flag down there maybe, Darrell. You're going to have a holding Ooh, call that coming up. That hurts against the running game. That'll set up a uh, second in uh, quite long for the Minutemen. That, uh, it's a spot <laughs> foul, of course. Ten yards from the spot of the foul. So two teams really, both of whom moved up to the American division this year. Uh, had been in the smaller group conference last year and have always had a great rivalry on the uh, on the gridiron. But uh, have struggled. You know, give each team an extra touchdown. You're talking about an unbeaten Par Hills here, Stick. and uh, yeah. Mendham would be 2-2 two and two, but with two, two big wins. But hasn't quite happened yet, so it's exactly something, again, right. has to give here today. Very unusual year for a, a proud Viking program, too. And, and looking back, they have not lost a game. The uh, Excuse me, they have not had a losing season the entire decade. Is that right? Uh, Coach yeah. David Albano does a, a, a terrific job yeah. for the Vikings. He's a very, uh, very proud system. So Mendham uh, needs to be a crow under the center. Mendham in the eye formation. Give to Kuhn. He's back over the 20-yard line. He'll set up a third in, uh, in quite long for the Minutemen. Yeah, that looks to be a third and maybe 15 or so. I mean, a bit longer. So Mendham uh, up front, uh, very strong, big uh, offensive uh, line. Senior dominated Senior line. dominated. Uh, 55, Stephen McGuire. 53, Ben Spinelli. Number uh, 70, Nick Endall at guard. Chris Florak, the center, number 73. Kevin Staley, uh, the 6'4", 255-pound uh, right tackle for Mendham. Quick draw. Kuhn gets out to the 25-yard line. I think coach there electing for a little bit of field position, play that game early on, calling the draw play right there when you had third and really about 18. That was, that was a very long third down. Long spot. It's tough. That's a place where a lot of the interceptions happen and uh, you know bad things go. Obvious punting situation. For Mendham. Good to see uh, Dreyer Van Orden in the backfield, number 32 for, uh, for Mendham. Dreyer after coming back after su suffering a concussion in the Morristown game a few weeks back. Uh, Sam Rindenauer, sophomore puncher, punting into the wind, by the way. The wind. Mendham uh, took the, uh, had the opening ball they, they received, kickoff. And it'll uh, be downed by Joseph Boyland. Joe Boyland. Senior wide receiver. And so Par Hills will take off on their own 42-yard uh, line. Pretty good field position for the Vikings. This is a passing-oriented uh, team. Quarterback Mike Cumberford, he's a junior. They've scored seven touchdowns junior, this year. Junior or sophomore, Darrell? Um, they list them as junior. I thought foot. they had a uh, sophomore, sophomore quarterback. We'll check. We'll confirm that. Yeah, yeah uh, we not, got sure. This, uh, not yeah. sure. This is a team that scored seven touchdowns this year, six through the air. So wow. they like to, to throw the ball. It's only a balance attack, but they've, uh, you know, Driven it in to, to get the scores. Par Hills, the Vikings in their white uniforms and the powder blue, Carolina blue numbers. Vikings lost their uh, two and a half year starter, Greg DePew, at quarterback to graduation. Excellent player, through player, the years player the through the years. Multi the basketball sport player athlete, as well. Also yeah. good basketball player. Viking program, as we mentioned, a good one. Trying, uh, They'll have to win out here to avoid a losing season. That's right or uh, pick out four to five and win the consolation game. There you go. Dive straight ahead, looks like Kyle. Uh, Kevin Staley losing his helmet there. Uh, CJ Joyce, uh, the junior, getting the carry, number 22. About 5'8", 165 pound uh, junior for the Vikes. Gain of about three yards, second and seven. 
So halfway through the season here, nominally, in that uh, only the first eight games count toward, toward seeding for the state tournament. The state tournament. And interestingly, uh, while Menem has struggled, you know, a couple of wins, they could get right in the race for uh, North Jersey. Nice play. Nice play. Kowalski on the tackle. He went for about uh, 14 yards. Trithvi uh, Thakakonda with the reception. This will be first down for the Vikings. Yeah, as you look at the uh, North Jersey Section 2 Group 3 standings, you really only have four teams over 500 at this point. Um, and Menem with a win could get themselves right into the, uh, into the race there. A great tackle. Great job. 70. For uh, Endall. Nick Endall. Another big senior guard for the Menda Minutemen. He's having a great season. Really playing well. Second down and nine. Of course, 77. Up Staley. front, Staley at the uh, left tackle. Florek at the right side. Men him in the four men down up front. Pass across the middle. That'll be incomplete. Tip pass. Tipped. Yep. Not quite sure he got his hand on it. Well defended by uh, Kowalewski. Third now for the third nine now for the Vikes. Tyler Purdue, number 83, calling the defensive signals. He gets those from the bench. Tyler looking at a lot of uh, schools at this point, uh, likely a NESCAC uh, performer, lacrosse player. Excellent lacrosse player. Probably one of the top face-off guys that we've seen in uh, in North Jersey, if not the state. Right. Part of Mendham's Group Better. 3 <coughs> state championship boys lacrosse team. Third in line. Pass to the outside. Good tackle by Kozolowski. Really a very nice looking pass right there. Yeah, Jameson on the reception. Co coverage was perfect. Uh, Dave Kowalewski right there on it. Quarterback put that ball in exactly the right spot. Right spot. A tall receiver. Jameson pulls that down, number 21. Well done. That's going to bring up a fourth and about five at midfield. Fourth and five. Um, looks like they've brought the, uh, the punting team on. Of course, we saw Roxbury fake, fake last uh, yeah. time we were here. Uh, around this situation. Decision. You, you, you really think about going for it in high school I in this position would. on the field early in the game. I have an interesting call here an by the uh, Far Hills coach. Punting is Will Smith. That's not the same Will Smith as from the movies, but he does. Well, we don't, we don't think so. We don't think so. Yeah. He handles uh, place kicking as well as punting. Great receiver, scored a couple of touchdowns, pooches it out. Excellent and execution. Great job really great, by great job. Will Smith. Yeah. Yep. And they're going to mark it at about the two and a half yard line. Wow. Great, great job. job by Will Smith. So not only does he act, he also can kick. He's very versatile. I can do it all. Mr. Smith, very versatile. Uh, that's a great job. That pins Mendham back. Let's see if we could uh, do a little better, moving the ball on the set of downs. Really close to a first down in that last one, the, the holding penalty. Holding uh, penalty hurt. Really holding hurt an awful hurt. lot. And we had a second and uh, five, or excuse me, a third and five set up, but uh, that holding penalty moved it back. All right, so Matt Crow, behind him is Dreyer Van Orden, and of course Johnny Kuhn. Picks okay. up maybe a yard, yard or two, close to the five. Hit back there quickly. Does help having uh, Van Orden as that blocking back. He'll get some carries as well. Mm -hmm. Scott Van Orden is uh, dad, former Mendham star, ran the uh, Twin Borough program here for, for many years. Uh, also in attendance. He's <coughs> glad to see his uh, son back after a, off for a couple of games with injury. <coughs> Third in a line of very good uh, Van Orden athletes. Scott doing a great job with that Bears program that we talk about so often. Really a wonderful number of students participating this year. Big numbers. La Sorsa out far left. Van Orden in motion. Gives Kuhn around the right side. Oh, Ooh, nice tackle. Nice play. And tackle by Sam Fendler. Okay. Uh -huh. for, uh, for the Vikings. Hey, actually, he got by him. He had some yards. Hey, going, Mike. I, I thought right. he was going to be able to make that turn, but the <laughs> Viking defender stayed right with him, did a great job staying home, and Kuna was just explosive speed if he can get off the yep. line. He yep. had that in yep. the, the Mount Olive game, and he can really break them. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm quite sure that Coach Albano scouted out our team 
quite carefully too. As yep. we said, a very good coach. Game four, Comes yeah. well prepared for these games. David Duggan, number 34 in the lineup for Mendham. He replaces Anthony uh, Desiderio. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. We're going to have to get rid of it. Pass. Incomplete. Good job by Matt Crow getting rid of that. It would have yeah. been uh, safety there. Crow clearly recognizing where he was. Uh, Persephone uh, Hills blitzing on that play. Got everybody into the backfield a little quicker than Mendham wanted. Had to get rid of it. Dangerous pass, throwing it in the middle like that. that. Um, but got away with it. He As got you away said, with certainly it, yeah. the right call. You want to get rid of that ball. Yeah. I think he was fine just bouncing it in there. Avoid yeah, the yeah, uh, yeah. interception, avoid the safety. Mendham will now uh, punt. A little over the, five minutes to go here in the first period. In the very back of, of the, the end zone. Minuteman end zone. Again, so into, the into the wind. wind. Let's get him the bounce. Nice mend and bounce. About the 35-yard line. 25, 25-yard yeah. line, where it's down by Dreyer Van Orden. Well, that field sets, position, up, uh, yeah, sets up uh, a great uh, field position going for the Vikings Hills. Way. They have the wind with them. Obviously, the decision uh, to punt the ball working out well for the Vikings. Put, putting the <laughs> Minutemen back and having uh, that Viking defense hold the uh, Old Mendham to zero first downs. And uh, in Will Smith have a uh, kicker who could uh, hit the uh, the long field goal if need be, especially with the wind. Mm -hmm. There's still about five minutes remaining here in the first. Comer Ford, the quarterback, in motion goes Hardwick. And that draw. Draw. Nice run. Looks like a first down there for C.J. Joyce. Looks like they'll give him about 11 yards, just about a yard past the first down marker. Inside the Mendham 15-yard line. So, uh, again, a game where something has to give. Both teams have had some heartbreaking uh, early defeats. Menem 0-4, Par Hills 0-4. Two uh, really storied programs uh, from the old Iron Hills days who have moved up to the uh, to the bigger ranks this year. Par Hills also a group three school. Like Mendham. Hard work again in motion. Yeah. Oh, great, great play, play there by McGuire. Got in there awfully fast. McGuire, who we had in with double-digit tackles against Roxbury uh, with a, a terrific play out of his linebacker slot. 6'2", 215-pound senior, part of a veteran core, but a team, guys that did not get a lot of work as much play last year, and they've really had to step up this year. They are seniors. That's been exactly with the program right. For a while. An awful lot of seniors participating on this squad, 18 out of 22 starting. Very strong sophomore class as well for Mendham. Cumberford rolls out, pass to the end zone, and they are going to give it to him. Huh? So the catch by Dan Jamison. He is his fourth TD uh, catch on the year. Also a very well thrown, well -thrown ball, ball in his perfect location. And actually, Boylan was all over him defensively. He was in the right spot, but uh, thread of the needle there. Yeah, both both completions really were well defended. Not much you could do when the quarterback that, puts right. the ball right there. You start near your 25-yard uh, line going in. It really does help the offense. When That's the wind the, is also uh, at your back and a, a lot eighth, going for you. Eighth score on the year for the Vikings. Seven via the air. And Will Smith for the point after. Oh, that kick is Ooh. blocked. No good. Just about saying, some people were saying he may be one of the better kickers in the county. Uh, yeah, maybe just got maybe that one off the, off the toe there off the a little bit. Little bit. Yeah, it looked like the snap was a little snow, a little slow, a little getting, slow down. getting there. Yep. Yeah, and may have thrown off his timing just a bit. So with four minutes and ten seconds to go here in the first, the Vikings have struck first. They are up six to nothing here at the turf field at the high, at Mendham Chester High School. It's also a good time to mention our sponsors for this game. We have the high school uh, uh, football boost boosters who do a terrific job. We really appreciate them. Provide a lot of uh, equipment and support for the high school team. Have the program for all the games as well. Menem Capital Management, Somerset Hills Bank, Salerno Duane uh, Auto, uh, all part of our sponsor group as long, along with True Insurance and uh, the good people at Samsung Electronics. So we thank them all for the sponsors. Others who'd like to uh, sponsor, you can go to www.mendamtv, that's all one word, M-E-N-D-H-A-M-T-V.org, O-R-G, 
and you can sponsor as well. We'll have games on throughout the season. So thanks to our sponsors. Kickoff from Smith. It's another long one. Nice Tyler kick. Purdue picks it up close to the goal line. It's going to be a 100-yard run back. Uh, it's not. Well, or not. I guess that's about the 15-yard well line. Well covered by Persephone. Well covered. Great foot by uh, Smith there down to the that goal line. That was a boot. Yeah, yeah. really no, Another it. yard, and that ball would have been coming out to the 20-yard line. Well, let's see what the Mendham offense could do. Need 85 yards to answer back. Get on the scoreboard here. We'll see if that extra point could uh, could be an opportunity a big one. that was missed. We'll come back to haunt the Vikings. Matt Crow, a quarterback, junior. Give goes to Van Orden. Handoff. He gets up. He might have picked up four or five. That's five yards, red and hard. He's a tough boy to bring down. Senior listed at uh, six foot, 240 pounds. Right. Also a very strong lacrosse player. Excellent part lacrosse of that, player, uh, yeah. Championship team. Apparently some big news on the lacrosse front. Uh, we'll, have, we'll have more on that later. Let's see if we could update you. Yeah, Charlie Schulberg, the veteran coach who uh, led men in the last three seasons, uh, had uh, stepped down toward the end of last year. He and his wife, Jessica, the girls' coach, um, are expecting their fourth child. They have three daughters thus far. Apparently, a replacement has been named, but I think we should probably verify that. We're going to verify uh, that. Our, our source was not the best. <laughs> Sweep outside. Uh, Johnny Kuhn looks like that'll be a uh, very close to the first down. I, sh close. I should say that there were two sources. One was very good. The other one, <laughs> the other a little, little shaky. Yeah, right. yeah. So uh, we'll, uh, we'll be looking to verify that. Right. <laughs> Here on Men of TV, we like to try to get all the facts uh, straight before we present them. That'll be a first down for the Minutemen. We are, if nothing game. else, a fact-checking organization. <laughs> we are at that. We <laughs> are at that. When it's opinion, we'll let you know. <laughs> right, so the ball's at the 27-yard line. Mr. T, uh, Mr. Baum on the PA announcement. One of the great gym teachers and also uh, taught all our girls how to drive. My daughter starts driving lessons in 10 days, as a matter ten of fact. 10 days, Mr. T, okay, good. <coughs> It'd be good to give everybody in Mendham and Chester a warning oh. on that one. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, with Mr. T, we have, uh, you know, knock on wood, we got one uh, coming up today from D.C., may join us on the program later uh, on. Oh, really? Very good. But so far, we've uh, stayed away from any accidents on the road. We give uh, Mr. Teitelbaum a lot of credit for that. She coming up for the Columbus Day weekend, a little is it vacation? Uh, it's, a, it's school break down school at School break Davidson. down? Yeah. yeah. Bring a friend up, uh, going to the city tonight. A lot of schools on break this week. Yeah. yeah. See that yeah. Uh, popular day. You got the extra Columbus Day holiday. Mm -hmm. Here oh. the drop. The Coon almost got on, just got stuffed just up there. Just got tripped up. I thought uh, another one where you, you kind of sense that he's ready to he's break He's ready to break it, one. second yeah. one um, where he was just about there. I'm going to make that call right now, Mike. He's going to break one today. I'm with you. Right. Yeah, I, yeah, you can just yeah. see that. He's getting to the outside in the corner. In that case, it was just a, a hand on the ground. Yeah, yeah. Um, just slowed him up just a bit. Slowed him up just a tad. Third down and four. Probably not quite four down territory, though I would uh, consider it if you can uh, split the distance here. Yeah. Lasorsa out this side. Crow quarterback. Florek, the center. Motion goes. Van Orden. And nice there's a flag. Nice guy to get a flag coming in. Late flag. This could go. Yeah, um, I, could go either way. I don't know go if either it was way. a face mask. or Could be a face mask yeah. on the Par Hills. Let's see what they have. It could be a, a hold on Mendham, although it came in awfully late for a hold. Right now it would be they a fourth call down and about three, and it is okay. a hold, yeah. Is it a hold? Let's so see. Now fourth and three, or do you take the well, third? Well, let's see. The I think they're going to decline it. I think um, Put in Park Hill's coach three. electing to, decline, going to the decline the penalty. penalty. Fourth and three. Take the fourth and three yeah. and force Mendham to punt. Yeah, I, I, I think on your own 35 with three yards to go, right. a little long to A little to, long to, to try perhaps go for yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think you get a little closer. You know, maybe it's fourth and one. Right, you might right. think about it. Yep. Unfortunately, the punt again uh, into the wind here. Sam, Sam right now are getting an awful lot of yeah, this time in this first for the quarter. Game. Kick. Got a, oh, bounce oh, uh, against Mendham. Bad break. McGuire on the touch. And 
They're going to mark Spot the ball. Spot right about the 48, 47 yard 44. line. 44. I actually met him, got a break there. Oh, okay. Um, McGuire had actually hit the ball about the 47 or 48. Right, right. Generally, it's on touch, they'll mark the ball. Now, now they have corrected yeah, they, it. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. put in the right spot. Because right they shouldn't have said anything there. Yeah. You can see the ball now being well, yeah, moved from the 44 to the 47. Yeah. Yeah. So it'll be first down there. Again, very good field position thus far for the Vikings. Uh, they've had the ball at their own 40. Now they're 47, of course. Uh, the touchdown Mendem, came off the, the 25. 25. 25. Yeah. Yeah. It's tough when the other team is only working with a half a field and you're working yeah, with a Yeah, and you're working field. with a full field. Hey, yeah. Rich Tarantino Rich up Tarantino in the booth joining us. Boy, this is <laughs> a uh, big day of fans. Yeah. Hey, Rich, yeah. how are you, Matt? Good to see you. Pass out the left side to Hardwick. He'll be up uh, shy of the first down out of bounds. Good tackle there by Ryan big. Harrington, number four. Right about a second and four coming up. Good quick play to the outside. Vikings noted for their short passing game. Second and a long three. Persephone Hill's been in this type of down and distance before. We've seen it. Right. Each set of downs. They're, they're gaining a lot on that good first to get down. Good yards on the first play. Then it comes back. A nice run by Comerford. Great run to get Eludes out of a couple of Mendham guys, and he's going to pick up yards on a first down. There is and a flag. Got, got a clip or a hold down the yeah, field. Yeah, looks like that'll be it. That will uh, likely Bring negate an excellent scramble. Nice scramble there by Comerford. Great job. So we're actually three Mendham defenders in the backfield. In the backfield. Had a shot, had a yeah. hand on him. Yeah. It'll go against the Vikings as we approach the uh, closing minute here of the first period. I'll assess it from the 30-yard line. Be a 10-yarder. 10-yard <coughs> holding penalty. And it'll be enough still for the first down. Yep. Let's get a shot there of the Mendham Band. Mendham Band does a terrific job under uh, Gary Quam. Uh, got a, a terrific senior group down there. Robin Chernow, also the goalie on the girls' I soccer noted. team. Tenor saxophone. Taylor Brady on the clarinet. Taylor does a great job there. Chris Bate is the drum major. Listed all the Mendham seniors on the fence today for cheerleading, band, as well as football. Comerford back to throw. Throws to the outside. Really throws a very throws nice ball. Throws very nicely, yeah. That's it, as good as we've seen all yeah. year. Coming across his body like that, perfect tight spiral, and again, just in the right spot where that receiver can turn around and catch the ball. That a conda on the reception. Yeah. Can't be the right one. Pause. It sets very up well. a second and about four. And that's the end of the first period. So we have completed one period here on the turf at Menham Chester High School. And the score, the uh, Par Hills Vikings 6 and the Minutemen. Minute, 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 minute men. The Minutemen. Yeah, those I, guys. You can say that, yeah, yeah. Those guys. The guys in blue. They have zero. This program was sponsored by a generous tax-deductible donation from Salerno Duane Auto Group, Denville, Newton, Summit, and Randolph. We treat the needs of each individual customer with paramount concern. Mendham High School Football Boosters. Support the football program. For further information, go to httpmendhamfootball.com. Somerset Hills Bank, 98 East Main Street in Mendham. The way your bank should be. Mendham Capital Management, financial consultant www.raymondjames.com slash Mendham Capital Management. The Brewster family, who send heartfelt congratulations to the 2010 Mendham Girls Lacrosse Team, Conference, Section, Group Champs, and Tournament Champion Finalists. They also remind you that all sports season passes are available for sale at all ticketed athletic events. Help support Mendham High School sports. Truen Associates Insurance and Surety, Westfield, Clinton, New York City. Our goal is to provide our clients with a cost-effective risk management solution to minimize their exposure to financial loss. www.trueassoci.com Samsung, the world's largest electronics company. 
www.samsung.com slash US. Mendum TV relies on sponsorships to bring you great community-oriented programs like this one. For further information, please email info at mendumtv.org. You're watching Mendham TV. We will, we will rock it. Both teams 0-4 at this stage, so something has got to give as we play this uh, kind of the mid-game of the uh, regular season. Uh, effectively, Fifth the middle nine. game is exactly right. That uh, that ninth game of the season, not counting toward, not counting toward the state, the state playoffs. playoffs. And Obviously, we count toward your conference record and your regular overall record. Overall record. And in uh, New Jersey, uh, you either go to the playoffs or you'll get a consolation game. That's so exactly right. Each Everybody guaranteed game. 10 games. Everybody guaranteed 10. Uh, this year, interestingly, you, you alluded to it before, too, Daryl, with the, the chance for Mendham to actually get into the playoffs, believe it or not. Yeah, uh, after the 4 start, uh, in North Jersey, group, uh, North 2, Group 3, Nutley seems to be the uh, pride of the uh, group, unbeaten 4-0, the Maroon out of Essex County. There are eight teams that make the playoffs. Eight make it. And then JFK Islin is 2-2. Two and two. Westmore Central, who certainly would have an edge over Menem, 3-1. and one. Central losing last night. Last night three three to Randolph. Two, losing to Randolph. Randolph, group 14. Plainfield Cardinal, 2-1. Uh, and one. Those are the leading in the standing. They're well over 30 points. And then it's kind of a battle. Morristown, Colonia, Irvington, Rollway, South yeah. Plainfield, Belleville, yeah. Mendham. Ir Irvington actually has 20 power points with a 1-3 and three record. Right. Wins help. I prefer to quarterback. Steps back. He likes to throw. Let's go on. Perfect. Perfect pass. Yeah. Per perfect pass. Uh, defender stepped in. Kind of found himself in, in no man's land there. Undecided whether to, just Dave Kovaleski right. on the coverage, undecided whether to go for that ball, go ball or not. Or stay with uh, Tyler with Purdue receiver. coming in to help right. out. But Jamison, again, a very strong receiver. Kovaleski did a good job. And, Sticking with it, bringing him down. That, geez, that's, that's got to be his third or fourth reception. Uh, Jamison, one of the best in the county. Yeah. Scored uh, three. Now he has four touchdowns with the one today. A little draw play. They're setting that up. Good hard run by C.J. Joyce. Picks up four yards. Mixing it up very well here. Yeah, Short sure passes yeah. with the running game. Yeah. Pulling the game very nicely. Traps and draws. Yeah. David Albano, the veteran coach at uh, Far Hills. Have they they've uh, missed one pass? Is that is that right? Um, yeah, that's all I can remember. Yeah, I, I only remember right? one incompletion. So you say uh, Menem right now ranked a little higher in the numbers than Par Hills. You get power points in the state uh, regardless of whether or not you win, depending upon who it is that beats you. There's an incompletion. Yeah, so the incomplete. Brian yeah. Harrington there. So you, you're awarded one power point for every win that somebody has beaten you actually gets. Yes. Okay. So, so in other words, if, if you're uh, beaten by a Morristown who has two wins, you've actually been awarded two, two residual points power points as a result of that. So mend them with seven power points uh, without the benefit of a win. Uh, if, if they can win a few here in Could this conference right into this where uh, yeah, right. everybody around that 500 type. Yep. Get record. the big schools. Yeah, actually, would out. still have a shot. But you, you do need to win. You, you almost have win. to win out. You have to win. At least three out of the next four. Right. There's only four more that count, as we said. You almost have to win out, and it's it really Tom has to start back. here. Rolls left. Pass, nice pass. They'll get a first down over to Jamison yet again. A victory here uh, is worth nine points, six points for the win, and then three points as a result of beating a group beating three a group school. Three team. So that, that's nine total points that we've received. If you were to beat a group four team, you'd get ten points. That's exactly right. So the, the, the most that Mendham can get, the, the, uh, the last four games are against two threes and two fours. So if they've won out, uh, you, you have a possibility of getting, I think that's 29 power points. This is a be 38, Mike, but that's okay. 38 <laughs> power points. Jim pass across the middle, incomplete, and they're going to throw the flag. That'll go against Joe Boylan. A uh, couple of couple of officials whistling that. 
in the high school game, uh, that'll go half the distance yeah. to the goal. You don't put it on the one like you do on the uh, professional game. And that will be an automatic first down. Put that ball on the five and a half yard lines where it should go. Our Hill's driving the ball very nicely here. And of course, lost the opener to Mount Olive in a tough uh, under the lights here at Mendham. Came back, had Morristown on the ropes. Uh, yep. Lost down the stretch. We're leading with less than uh, eight minutes to go. An absolute heartbreaker the last game we had down here against uh, Roxbury. Met him up by 10 points in the closing minutes. Yeah. Roxbury ties, then wins in triple overtime. Last week against Central, just a very bad start. And it kind of got worse from there. Ooh, yeah. So this is a big, big stop here for men. Maybe time for a turnover, Mike. Man, a certain Hardwick in uh, motion. Have benefited from turnovers in the past few games. Mendham getting straight was it, six, six turnovers against Roxbury. Against Roxbury, six TOs. Yeah. Three fumbles, two interceptions, and one we weren't sure. <laughs> exactly. Either way, it was a turnover, though. It was a turnover, nonetheless. And like you said, we could sure use one right here. Absolutely. Max St. John out along with Joe Boylan. And into the ball game goes Nick Endall, number 70, and Steve McGuire. All right, so big stops here. Second down. Call it the four. Comerford loads up the gun. He rolls right. Pass. It's an incomplete. Just a little too far. Outside. Great job on Dave Kovaleski. Kovaleski right there in the coverage. On the coverage. Pass intended there for Kyle Baxter, the 6'5 junior. So with the power points, as we said, Mendham wins three out of the next four, get awarded 29 points. Um, You're going to be right good, in there. You're going to be right there. there. Yep. You know. Um, they went out, get all the points. You're, I'd say They're you're very right. good you're possibility definitely of being in there. there. So in order to do that, though, you're going to have to be Del win Barton, today Randolph, too. have to have to win today. Uh, I'm going to start it. All right, into the win Barstow. for uh, the Vikings. Third down, big stop here for Mendham. Comerford looks, he throws. Great defensive job Ryan by Harrington. Harrington, Ryan Harrington. Turning around just at the last, last minute. minute there to bat that ball away. Tended for Jamison. And Harrington, switching uh, uh, Harrington now yeah. on Jamison. Harrington Kovalevsky. able to screen him out effectively. And Picking again, turning up. around just at the right time. Kyle Baxter. Fourth down. It looks like Will Smith attempt. will be on to kick. Kyle Baxter holding. Now this is still a very fakeable uh, zone. Last kick was not so good for uh, Will Smith, but uh, he is noted for his kicking prowess. Some calling one of the better kickers in the county. Good snap, good hold. Snap, kick, hold. And it is good. So with nine and a half minutes to go here in the second period, Par Hills has jumped out to a 9-0 lead against the Minutemen. And that one might have been good from about 30 yards, too, though. Yeah, I think the it's extra nice point kick, was yeah. the... Maybe uh, a fluke there. The fluke? Yep. I'd see his kickoffs have been uh, mm -hmm. last Very one deep. to the goal line, the other inside the 10-yard uh, the line. Well, 9-0. Nine 9-0, nothing. Nine pretty important possession. It'll be good for Menem to get, on the, get something going here. I think it is. You have to answer with some kind of points... This is a team now that hasn't scored a point in the last five quarters. Uh, I, I think it's important for the psyche of the team to get some Absolutely. points on the board before they have here. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And we're moving the ball last time, so they yeah. had, you know, had some, some stuff going. Yep. And now have the wind with them. Correct. And its wind is blowing. Uh, yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, it's, it's, say it's 15 knots. Gusty. gusty. Yeah. Seems like it's always windy here, doesn't it? It does, especially hey, up again, here. Especially windy. up here in the box. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Now, how was that on the golf course today, Mike? I heard you were hitting him well. I hit him decently. I heard you had a great back nine. Yeah, yeah, I did hit him decently. Uh, we, uh, actually, we played the front nine. Oh, that, maybe that was the <laughs> there you go. The back nine, which makes the back <laughs> nine even better. Even better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think I was uh, it's one over through seven, one over bogey. One over bogey. Well, yeah. that's yeah. Uh, what else would you want to do? Right, right, there you go. Will Smith, another good punt. Yeah, kick. certainly a shorter After kick. After the 10-yard line of Tyler, he gets the uh, win against Tyler Purdue. Purdue up the middle. Nice right. run by great Tyler. Great run. Great run. That's at the 32-yard line. Where An extra six or seven yards there yeah. just on effort. Got to give him credit there. Yeah, I'll tell you, the weather for every game except for the Morristown game, I think, has really been uh, Absolutely been nice. gorgeous. Yeah. Absolutely gorgeous. Certainly every home game has been gorgeous. There's your Mendham band uh, doing a uh, great, uh, great job out there today. Yep. Great senior class there. A lot of efforts by the captain's moms to get that fence all loaded there. up nicely with all the kids' names. 
Roll left to uh, Kuhn. He can turn it inside, yeah. big run, first down. And that's what we've been that's looking, what we've been for, looking for, exactly. He did, did a great job cutting inside just the last minute there, right. knew when the cut up. Got around that corner and corner. Uh, pick up a first down. Can see a lot more of that. We'll try to get all the uh, names of the uh, band seniors. We've mentioned Robin Chernow, uh, goalie for the girls' uh, soccer team. They've started a little run now. They have, yeah. They, they won both of their games this week. Their record currently is 4-2-2. Two, 4-2-2. Two, and two. Four, two, and two. Robin, one of the, the top goalies in the, in the area. Excellent goalie. County games coming up next. Ben Orden in motion. Looking long. Yeah, he's got him, but to, uh, yeah, it's incomplete La Sorsa, yeah. for La Sorsa. La, La Sorsa had he had a step or two on the defender. Um, Crow just throwing that ball a, a little, little long. too far. Of course, that's one of the – there's an advantage of having the wind with you. The disadvantage of it could take the long pass a little yeah, further than you're, exactly you're ready for. exactly right. But, uh, spoke about golf earlier, and my golf ball seemed to have gotten held up by the wind, oddly enough, this morning. This ball, however, just floated along with it. Just went right over there. We see in the uh, sectional passing leaders, Matt Crow is actually ranked number three. After four weeks, he's thrown for 280 yards. Good job. A couple of those long passes. A couple long passes. Yeah. Brandon Wilson from South Plainfield and JT Kotowski from Colonia, the top two ranked uh, quarterbacks. You see Persephone Hills employing that short passing game uh, quite a bit here right. today. Uh, some of those seven, eight yard passes. Uh, hitting well over 50%. Sure, sure. Uh, a higher a little percentage right. pass. Right. Mendham, uh, you know, Macro uh, uh, hitting uh, a yeah, little less than 30% of yeah. the year. Yeah. But, I mean, but hitting for some longer sure, passes. Exactly. That's the, there the there you just had, you had a go route right to the post there. And Third and 10. Able to hook up. Got, uh, three guys wide. Purdue in motion. He's getting a little more offensive play. He's been doing a good job defensively and on special teams. Crow throws. There's that short pass. To, uh, Johnny Kuhn, he's going to be just shy of the first down. Looks like they'll mark him just about a yard short, maybe, Darrell. Fourth down. Got about eight minutes to go here in the second period, and it looks like I think that makes Menem's going to go decision. for it. Yeah. I think you go yeah. here. Yeah. yeah. I think you, you have to get go. something going. You have something right. working. Right. I think when they're able to get Van Orden blocking, it's really kind of helping Kuhn get him, get him going. Uh, Dreyer, big, six foot, 240 pound yeah. senior. I, I, I think you're right. I think you see that, or the inside handoff. The inside handoff, right? Either, either way. Yeah. Well, I like Dreyer. He picked up yeah. five yards in yeah. his first carry. They're in the power eye. And off goes the Coon. It looks like he'll get Got it. it. Yep. Up close to the 40 yard line. So good job by Mendham Excellent getting job. that first down. Get a little drive going here. Mike said, so uh, so important here to get on the board. Having had that tough game against Central, an early start, Menem fell behind. It was, it was tough to come back. And talking to some of the parents before the game, just asking what the psyche of the team was, still saying that they're very up. Um, they're talking to Jackie Spinelli, actually. Jackie telling me that the way the team is looking at this is as if it's a fresh start. We're 0-0. Zero and zero. We've, we've got, you know, at, at least five games to go. Uh, let, let's try and go 5-0. and oh. Sure. It's really the right approach. You give Coach Kirk uh, credit for that, Absolutely. really keeping the guys in the game. Doing a great job. Kind of readjust. The pitch here comes uh, Johnny Kuhn. Tackled by Sam Fendler. But a nice uh, carry there. He picked up about six, six, yards. six yards. And I'm starting to get outside here a bit on uh, Par Hills. Yeah, they've been working on that left side. Uh, that, that's three runs to the left. The left side, right. He's been able to get around. Run inside the tackle to the right, right side and right. then sweeping to the left side. Second down, about four. I like Van Orden on this one. I got a timeout called here by Coach Kirk. Coach Kirk decides to call a timeout. Six and a half minutes left. Here in the second period. It's also a time to uh, talk about some of the other sports programs this fall in Mendham. Uh, girls soccer team we mentioned. Girls soccer, uh, four, two, and two. Four, two, and two. County Couple game of wins in a row. Wimini Park tomorrow on Sunday. Uh, this is county game. The boys soccer team saw them last night against Randolph under the lights. Boys soccer uh, now seven and four. Seven and four. Uh, yeah. After a, a tough loss, 4-0 against Del Barton, they have now uh, ripped off four consecutive wins. Ben uh, Strong, a uh, kid who I coached, by the way, back in the day. Well, well, actually, that, I think he coached me. That explains but, uh, yeah. why Ben's But Ben had two off, goals man. last night, played very, very well. Both in the second uh, half, two second both half Both in the second half, one a header and Excellent. won a, a great personal move down the uh, closing minutes of the game 
big win over Randolph for from Mendham. Have a few players that are coming back from injuries. They're going to be uh, pretty good here down the stretch. So I'm uh, looking for some big things coming out of that. Excellent. And girls, girls volleyball. Volleyball um, rolling along. Nine and three. Yeah, another very strong well. year there. Girls Sister tennis. school central. The only other central, school reps better right. than them. Yeah. Uh, in the counties. And they'll have yeah. another shot to uh, match up. Tennis. Uh, with Tennis winning the uh, counties. Yep. Yep. Uh, so that was a big, uh, big title Walsh, there. Beat Villa uh, Walsh. Yeah. Yeah. And then saw Alyssa DeMeo. We'll be back to the game here in a bit. Uh, for field the field hockey, hockey team. I think she's probably the best we've seen in field hockey at Mendham over the uh, over the years. Scored a couple of goals yesterday. Two so. goals, and we'll be back to uh, to the action. Back to the action. Second and four. Straight ahead of Van Orden. There he goes. Oh, he look can at turn this it on. Big boy, go. Be tough to stop. Knocked out of bounds of the five. Boy, he gets rolling like that. Oh man, I'll tell you, I don't like a get freight train from Daryl. Oh, yeah, maybe. That's a. Actually showing some pretty good speed there. Really? Yeah, yeah. he started running downhill there, right. didn't he? Yeah. yeah. Thank yeah. goodness he has Jackie's speed and not Scott. <laughs> Jackie Van Orden, of course, uh, Dreyer's mom, former Roselle Catholic basketball star. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. So she says. Wow. Point guard, I believe. Very good. She was noted one of the uh, quickest uh, point guards in the Union County. Then she was? back to the. Uh, yeah. That's that's the story. Okay. Ooh. Dive straight ahead, uh, not going to get anything there. Interesting sure. call here. Second and goal. Second and goal on the five. Would like to have gotten a little more there on the first down play. I think look to go wide here, yeah. Mike, or are you yeah. going to think of the throw? You got the wind you've with got, you. Yeah, yeah, you've got uh, LaSorsa coming back in. You've got at least the two receivers set. I don't know if they have Dennis in there. Del Tufo out, number 60. Got the wing back left is Van Orden. He Split may go in just motion. just one wide right, yeah. So the source up top. Yeah, Van Orden in motion. Hand off to Kuhn. He goes right up and there a touchdown. There you go. Great job. Nice job. That's a great drive by Mendham. Yeah. They uh, march down the field after the 67-yard uh, drive. Great after job. a great return by Tyler Purdue. Right. Responding to the Par Hills field goal. And there we saw the, the calls mixed up there quite a bit right. as well. Yeah, we, we actually did get that... Uh, Quick little seven-yard pass out to the out to the uh, yep short flat pass there. Yep. yep ran the ball both up the middle all well as to the sides. Let's see if we can convert Jason the extra Durkin point here. extra point kicker. And that looks good. Excellent. Durkin do a nice job in the overtime game against Roxbury, hitting the kicks. So uh, Mendham is pulled within two here, with five and a half minutes to go, 5:40 to go here in the second period. You've got Par Hills Vikings nine and Mendham seven. It's a good time to remind us about the Mendham Football Boosters and the great job they do. Uh, Mike, you're a part of that program for, for many uh, years. Yeah. A, lot of, a lot of volunteers. Yeah, all the, all the parents there do a great, great job. Ben Spinelli, the president this ben, year. Ben, the president, does a, a good job. Of course, Sam Blood was present several times with his kids in the past. Uh, Sam Blood, I think, founded that program, Is that right? if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Sam, yeah. of course, yeah. the former Morristown High School star, played for the Colonials. Yep. His brother, uh, Sonny Blood, played on the... Uh, team that uh, Sam Blood, Sam Blood's his brother, played in the team that uh, Westfield, my team, uh, was supposed to play in the in the state finals. Was supposed to play there? What happened? Yeah, that was the first year of the state playoffs. Oh, and okay. uh, the uh, ratings came up and Bloomfield uh, was actually put in against uh, against Morristown for the state but finals. But it, it should have been Westfield. Absolutely should have been Westfield. I unbeaten. See. Had just come off 48 straight wins. Wow. And the ball game played in Atlantic City. Morristown winning. Um, Westfield and Marstown both were named co-champions by the old Newark News, and Marstown refused the trophy. So we in Westfield figured we were the, uh, the yeah. state champs at that yeah. point. These were the days before Back power before points. all the power points yeah. and playoffs, it was a version of those. Fandler returning it here, got it about the 12-yard line. Gets to the outside. Nice tackle there by Joe Boylan yeah. at about the 27-yard line, where Parhills will take over. Talking about Joe's, it's a good time to uh, – Remind everybody the great job that Joe Merritt does. They call him Audio Joe. He has done a terrific job here helping to support There's Joe. the uh, program. There's Turn Joe. smile, Joe. Big Other smile, way. Joe. The Other, Other way, way, Joe. Joe, a sophomore at Mendham High. Boy. He's working with Doug Black, our uh, cameraman. Doug. There's Doug's hand. <laughs> the hand of Doug. And he... Um, does a great job on the camera work. Doug is the station Doug manager. Here hours before the game, getting everything getting set everything up. set up. Note that he is the station manager for Mendham TV. Mendham TV available on channel 25 if you're Comcast, 22 if Verizon. Par Hills with the ball. 
Cumberford back to pass. He's rolling Great right. Great coverage. Cumberford running well. He really had nowhere to go with nowhere that ball. Nowhere to go. It was a wise decision to go ahead and run it. Three men downfield, all covered. Staley and McGuire on the tackle. He's second at about seven yards. I like this Comerford kid. He's done a nice job, really very poised. Yeah. Throws the ball quite Smart. well. Yeah. Smart kid. CJ Joyce is out. How coming the ball game is Tyler. Check this out now. It's Comerford, quarterback number nine. Mm -hmm. He'd gotten the signals from the side. Now they're going trips right. I'm not sure they were set there, Mike. No, I think. Pass the outside. Great catch. Nice catch. And uh, Fendler with that reception, number two. That trips right, trips right formation may be just confusing the Minutemen defense for a minute. It looked as though there was nobody on him. He came across right. the middle came there. came across, yeah. Without being covered. Yep. The fact that he might not have been set could have helped, but. Uh, yeah. The far wide guy. Of course, the uh, back does not need to be. I, I think and that's probably that. the most common penalty that's not called in high school sure. football, by right. the way. I mean, just. Members of the band getting ready for their halftime show. They're certainly in motion. They're, they're in allowed motion. to be. They are. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Band on the run, I believe we'd call them. <laughs> As opposed to backfield in motion. There we go. Comerford throws after the right side. Complete. Another great pass. Great yeah. pass. Great catch. Yep. Um, Jamison again. Looks like his he's sixth right reception. on the marker. Can't I think he's tell. gonna have it. Looks like a first yeah, down here. Though he does, yeah. As we've seen in most of these games, we actually have a better angle than the officials. Yeah, yeah. We have a way of measuring when it's shy by two yards in some instances yeah. are, are good. It helps being 35, 40 feet in the air. It helps being up here in the upper deck at the, on the turf at Menham Chester High School Field. There you There's get a look at some of the, the some of the names of the uh, the senior seniors. football players. Great job again, school boosters or the football boosters doing a good job. Donnie Duggan, number 34, caught that TD pass against Roxbury. Real strong senior class. And it's all about Mendham Pride. They're also members of the uh, Mendham Cheerleaders in the red uniforms. When they turn around, it's blue. It's very confusing. Yeah. Part of Mendham's red, white, and blue colors. Jesse Fulham, captain. Along yeah, Jesse, with Captain Lauren, Lauren Gonzalez, and Lauren, Gonzalez and, Lauren and Lauren Barca. It's Jesse and the Lawrence. The Lawrence. Jesse's brothers, Greg. Greg and JP. JP, both uh, men of high school football players. As well as Father lacrosse John players. And lacrosse players. Yeah. Father John, one of the better golfers in Morris County. Tackled by Desiderio. And others. Designed play there. Second, Second and seven. And seven. Men and men and D out there. Tyler Purdue, number 83, calling the signals. Up front, you've got Staley. Ryan Harrington in safety. One of, the, one of the state leaders in tackles, by the way, Harrington, Harrington is at the safety position. He's done a terrific job. Not always a good sign when your safety's making those. No. Great defensive stop yeah, there. Yeah. Got in there awfully the credit quick. credit to Joseph Boylan, I Joe believe. Joe Boylan. Yep. Playing a spirited game. Called his number senior quite a few wide times receiver, today. yeah. 5'9", 145 pounds senior. Really timed that hit perfectly. Perfectly, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Just as the ball got to the receiver. So third and seven. A little over three minutes to go here in the second period. A beautiful sunny day at Mendham. There are the cheerleaders. Maybe 75 degrees out here. It's got to be 75 yeah. degrees. Yeah. Wind out of the northwest. Comfort back. Harrington on Harrington the blitz. On the blitz. <sighs> Hardwick pulls it down, eludes one tackle, and picks up the first. Well, when the blitz doesn't get there, unfortunately, yeah. it does leave you a little bit unprotected. And the quick passes, yeah. that's how you yeah. beat the blitz. That's exactly right. Draws, well screens, quick passes. Yeah. It's first down. To about the 31-yard line, we're approaching the three-minute mark. Clock stops until they set the uh, yard markers, and now they'll start again. We'll be under three minutes when this ball is snapped. High school and college, of course, that clock stops in that first down. The NFL does not. It keeps going. There are talk about changing that, but uh, we haven't seen it yet. Games take long enough as it is. Really? 
Pass. That is a lateral, and that ball is live. Ooh, that is a live lucky. ball, uh, and that is a bad. They whistled uh, the dead. They whistled I, I the dead. They missed that one. Well. Yeah. yeah, we'll see that in the replay. But that ball was at least a yard backward. They did blow it, blow it right yeah, away. Right away. Yeah. Of course, regardless right of how the ball is thrown, whether it's thrown overhand or underhand, it's the direction it goes uh, when it leaves the quarterback's hand. If it goes straight lateral even with the yard line you're on or forward it's a forward pass if it goes backward it is then a uh, considered a lateral and that ball is a live ball if it's dropped and it, it looked as though it was a lateral yeah tough tough to call but tough to call of course we do have a better angle yeah proven that over and over again forward that receivers. one is forward to hardwick he's going to pick up the first down had both of his other receivers in front of him to block there, the trips right formation. Yeah, it seemed to be working very effectively. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's one I men's got to make sure they adjust to. Well, that's a big uh, turn of events there as we get to the yeah. two and a half minute mark here in the first half. I, I think it's important for Menham to try and, I mean, obviously, hold them out of the end zone here. Yeah, you know, field goal. If you can hold them bad. to a field goal, I not think it's still okay. Right. Come away but, thinking uh, it's a trips victory. now go to the left side, uh, Mike. Man him again with only two players over there. That gets uh, another four receiver set. Yep. He rolls left. Look for a hold there. Pass in the end zone. Picked up. Oh, great job! Great try by Tyler yep. Purdue. Almost had it. Yeah, just getting his hand up at the last minute there. Great job. Give him credit there. Tyler, of course, uh, strong lacrosse player, being recruited by many of the NESCAC schools. Looking at Bates. Bates. Connecticut College. Con Call. Yeah. Goes to uh, Bates, of course. He could join Colin Schirmerhorn. Colin Schirmerhorn, former, former Mendham quarterback. quarterback. Right. From two years ago. Yep. Started both his junior and senior years here. For. Uh, Before Matt Crimmins. For Matt Crimmins. Quarterback. Right. Matt up at Middlebury, another NESCAC school. Unfortunate Just injury. Just got injured, yeah. Very set, uh, set back difficult. Matt for some time. Like a timeout by Par Hills. Two minutes and ten seconds to go. Yeah, unfortunate injury for Matt. I, ACL, I'm hearing. ACL, uh, yeah, yeah. And uh, he was going to play two sports there, both football, which he had already started, uh, as well as lacrosse. I think uh, opting to... Uh, Get surgery over the winter time. Surgery over the winter time. Get ready for it. Anyway. Yeah. Usually that's going to be a uh, you're going to miss a year. Yeah. Um, uh, only rarely do players come back within the within the year. Maggie Sinzer, of course, did. Uh, Maggie hurt in uh, lacrosse during the summer play. Uh, had to stick the step out for uh, soccer and basketball, but did make it to the title run by the did girls. He, lacrosse did a great team. job coming back. Was Maggie able to contribute in. significantly yep. to the team. Played well. Wasn't at total full speed, but yeah, got to yeah. give her a lot of credit for, uh, for her play. Did a terrific job. And we certainly wish Matt and his family all the best. All the best there. I'm sure it will be a full recovery. Look forward to seeing him again. Okay. See, so that's two minutes and ten seconds to go here in the second uh, period. Par Hills nine, Mendham seven. Both teams starting to move the ball up and down the uh, field. Mm -hmm. To a slower first period. Second and ten. Got one timeout. Each team is taken, Mike, by That's my correct. count. Two left for each team. It's a Mendham defensive line. Spinelli 53, Staley 77, and uh, 73, Chris Florak, the county champion wrestler. Three down. Trips left. And looks Purdue. the pass. This could be picked. Complete could be offensive. An offensive, yeah. It seemed as though uh, yeah. the receiver was all over David Kovaleski's back on that one. Yeah, Baxter, uh, the intended receiver. They've now moved Kovaleski on Baxter number uh, 20, while Harrington is picking up uh, Jamison number 21. A little switch there by yeah. momentum. Yeah, yeah. Uh, once uh, Baxter once six he gets five into junior. The, yeah, once he gets into the Mendham backfield, <laughs> Ryan slides over from safety and picks him up. Baxter 6'5", it's a you know, tough guy to, to cover with uh, Kowalowski, who probably is uh, a little less than that. Listed at 5'10", but I think he had to be on a, on a, on a stool. On a, on a porch step. Now they're going yeah. left there with a man in motion. Here comes Purdue on Purdue. the side. Oh, Ooh. gets it around. He is now over the line. And then it pulls down the tackle. Yeah. Great job of staying Fumble. home by the Minutemen. They're, they're going to pull, yeah. yeah. pull that down. Yeah, Officials will pull that down. McGuire again on the uh, the tackle. A great Tyler job Purdue staying with him. Out. Yep. Tyler flushed him out. Good job by the Par Hills quarterback to scramble as much as he did, actually. 
Fourth and eight now on the 15 yard line. So what do we do here? Wouldn't be surprised the field goal they're into the wind. Yeah, good kicker. 15, so it's a 32 yard attempt into the wind. 15 will be, yep, 32. I would think that would be at the edge into the wind. Yeah, yeah although the, I, I it, do it's like the gusting foot. pretty good. Don't know if you could hear that on television or not, but it is a pretty good wind. It's a pretty good wind, but it comes and goes. Mm -hmm. I guess that's yeah, a yeah. gust. <laughs> that <laughs> might be the definition yeah, of a right. gust. I, I don't know. We'll look, look that, that up. up. We'll have yeah. our weatherman, Joe Merritt, okay. will check us out here at, uh, at halftime on that. Thanks, Joe. Thank you, Joe. Timeout, Par Hills. That's their second. Minute seven to go here. Fourth and eight uh, situation. Well, they know their kicker better than we do. Yep. Uh, I, I think you're right. I would imagine I if uh, the wind were not I think gusty, going, I, I think it would make the decision right, easier yep. for them. And I think if they're with the wind, it would be a, oh, yeah. a no, no a doubt. Yeah, yeah. Eight's a pretty far to go, although uh, yep. quarterback Comerford's done a good job. Yep. And uh, there is the Mendham uh, cheerleaders. We'll run and we'll look at some of the, the, the names of the senior boys. Ben Orden, Durkin. There are the girls out there. Award-winning cheerleading group. There are some of the names of the girls. Mendham. Cheerleaders do a great job. Year in, year out. Year in and year out. It's a good program. Some debate in the courts as to whether it's a sport or not. I think it's a sport. I'm going with the yeah. sport. I'm yeah. going with the sport. They sure get hurt. <laughs> they certainly get hurt. Yeah. That's exactly. Yeah. And they compete. Yeah, yeah. A lot better looking than some other athletes we've seen. But, uh, well, then most of the, yeah. Then most really of the athletes. The most but it happens a lot with the girls' yeah. sports yeah. teams. Yeah. Coach Pamphili out on the field. Fourth and eight. They are going to go for it. Comerford, a quarterback, in the gun. Double wides. Oh, and a big sack. What a play by Luke, Luke Tamarello. Tamarello, the sophomore, comes in from linebacker. right linebacker for the sack. Great job. Great I think play he there. came in untouched. Untouched. Right? Yeah. Untouched. Yeah. Nice call, executed perf uh, perfectly by Luke. And really the first time that Comerford hasn't uh, uh, eluded the uh, the blitzing. Yeah, he, came, he just came he right no at chance. him. There was, yeah, there's no way he was going to get away from him. Luke, of course, son of Dave Tamarello, also Former a Mendham football, star. football player here in Mendham. Calling for a uh, big uh, win today. Absolutely. Hey, you got Mike uh, a little under a minute here to go in the first half. 9-7. Men did well as last time. Do you just run this thing out or do you try something here? You got I, the win I, with it. Why not try something? I mean, it's you're at your 23, not your 13. Maybe a couple of short passes. If you, so get, if you get nothing, then run it out. You have two timeouts remaining. And only one timeout for Precipine. So they really can't stop right, the Right, Takoon. And we'd be called, he would break one. He's out to the outside. Wisely gets out of bounds, out of bounds. to stop the clock. Fendler with the tackle. Nice run there by uh, Johnny Kuhn. Great job. He's had two, three games already over 100 yards this year. Still leaves 51 seconds or so. And now you have a little bit of room I, to work with. Now you can I, throw I, I the ball. I think why not? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You got the wind with you. Yeah. And, and, and frankly, it, it's not the worst time to go for a long throw here because if the ball is picked off. Right. You know, then they uh, don't have much time to. Not that you want an interception, but no. maybe that's the time to get one when there's not a lot of time to work with there. Oh, they have so. waved off the penalty. A lot of fans there up on the the hill. Part of those travel uh, as well. Behind uh, the bench. And then, of course, beautiful complex here. Yeah, they'll say um, they look a little cozy up field. there on that Very hill. Cozy, yeah. Yeah. Surprised they didn't bring a blanket. <laughs> Made a little picnic in the shotgun. Motion Coon. Could be a pass out to him. He went forward. Yeah. No call. Ball goes to Van Orden. This will not. There's going to have to be a timeout here by yeah. Mendham. That yeah, does not stop the clock. Coach Kirk taking it right away there. Good job there. Mendham with one timeout remaining. 42 seconds. Well, They do I, allow I, the coach to go out in the field here for timeouts. I think maybe nice you, you, you want to look for some sideline passes here maybe uh, where you can get out of bounds quickly. Get out of bounds quickly. You've got eight yards to go for that first down. Out of bounds, incomplete, first down, stop the clock. You have one timeout left. A little comeback route along right. the sideline maybe. You know, Could work. Six-yard type play, get yep. a couple yards, get out of bounds quickly. Because you have the wind with you. If you get down, I'm thinking the 20 is probably Which the outside. Make it a 37 yard attempt. 37 yard. Yeah. Probably makeable with the wind behind you. 40 yards to go. So you need probably two, three completions mm -hmm. on that. Second down, I like the shorter pass. Right. Here, set yourself up a little better. There's the men in the uh, huddle. Water boys doing a terrific job out there. Coach Kirk 
in his fifth year as the uh, Mendham head coach. Correct. As an assistant at Mendham for 28 years before that. 20, 27, 27, 28, 28 years. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So well over 30 years with the Mendham program. And it may have more experience and years of coaching than any team <laughs> that I've seen. Could certainly well be. Yeah. Veteran uh, coaches. Second and eight. Back in the gun. Motion Max St. John. St. John could be open. Step up. Oh, and he is uh, tackled. Matt Crow just couldn't get, uh, yeah, just just couldn't get away. Was grabbed. We're under 30 seconds to go. Loss of about five. Third and 11 or 12. I think I, now I think you at just this sort point, of. I think you just yep, want to kneel right. it. Yeah, if it, without getting kneel it down. positive yardage on that last play. Purdue into the ball game for uh, Mendham. Yeah. There's only really two things you do here. You either kneel it or you a Hail Mary. Type Hail Mary, pass. and they're going to call timeout. Yeah. Maybe set that up. Yeah. Let about 10 seconds run off the clock uh, Before calling prior that. to calling that timeout. I guess figure one more play. That way you yeah. don't have to worry. Yeah, part of the plan. Yeah. Yep. But, uh, oh. Incomplete pass. 9-7, uh, Par Hills. punt it. 13-2 to go. In fact, I'm even thinking here, why punt? Uh, yeah. Fourth down. Sure. Just, yeah, uh, just run it more around. More bad things can yeah. happen there. Yeah. Just run yeah, it around. Just run it around, yeah. Although with Comerford and the uh, dangerous Par Hills passing attack, you hate to give them uh, too mm -hmm. many cracks at it here. Again, a beautiful day on the turf at Mendham uh, High School Field. We thank the Mendham Football Boosters for sponsoring this broadcast, along with Salerno Duane, the uh, great auto dealers, True Associates Insurance, Samsung Electronics, all our football sponsors, football package sponsors, Menham Capital Management, Somerset Hills Bank. Thank them all. Third down. Crow drops. He looks to throw long. Oh, up trip, and they're going to call it. Uh, are they going to call it? I'm not sure that nah, was going to be catchable. Yeah, probably not catchable, and it did look as though they just got tied got up tied there. Got tied up there. Yeah, yeah. So fourth down now, seven and a half seconds to go. Well, seven and a half seconds, if you elect to just run it around, you want to make sure that you're not caught for seven and a half seconds. You don't want to get caught so too I, soon. I think maybe you just hand it off here. Hand it off. Right. Um, and you let, uh, if you have to play defense, you play defense. Exactly. Yeah. So fourth and 12. Now they're set up to maybe throw one. Got Purdue out wide right. And uh, Crow keeps it. All right. This may Clock do it. Stop uh, two on point change four seconds possession. ago. And I don't know the precipitant will do anything except for yeah. I think the teams are starting to move off the field. Yep. Macro walking off the field with a ball. Officials discussing the uh, uh, ball. That is the half. Calling at the half now. As expected. So your score at halftime. Referee's talking that over. Score at halftime here on the turf at Menham Chester High School is Par Hills 9 and Menham 7. We'll be back for the second half, but uh, Menham do a nice job getting back into the ball game. Mike, yeah, just when yeah, you said I, they I, needed I, to. I, I, think you go in, I think you go into the half uh, with some you positive some nice energy. momentum so coming, yeah, right? Yeah. You know, uh, Par Hill scoring early, going up 6-0, getting the field going 9 nothing. a good stop by the Mendham defense. And then uh, Mendham with really one of their better drives yeah. of the season, a 67 able, yards. Able to answer quickly. It was a well-executed drive, and I think they have some positive momentum going in. Johnny so Kuhn the then uh, scoring the, uh, the touchdown for Mendham. So this is a game, both teams uh, winless at this point, but really looking for the win to see if they can turn some things around. And as a build, a, a really a tight ball game, very uh, even battle. Menem running attack what against the expected. Far Hills passing yeah, attack. That's what we expected, and we'll see what happens in the second half. So that'll uh, do it here as we uh, wrap up the first half of play with the score Mendham 7 and Par Hills 9. And we will be back after this word from our sponsors. This program was sponsored by a generous tax-deductible donation from Salerno Duane Auto Group, Denville, Newton, Summit, and Randolph. We treat the needs of each individual customer with paramount concern. 
Mendham High School Football Boosters. Support the football program. For further information, go to httpmendhamfootball.com. Somerset Hills Bank, 98 East Main Street in Mendham. The way your bank should be. Mendham Capital Management, financial consultants. www.raymondjames.com slash Mendham Capital Management. The Brewster family, who send heartfelt congratulations to the 2010 Mendham Girls Lacrosse Team, Conference, Section, Group Champs, and Tournament Champion Finalists. They also remind you that all sports season passes are available for sale at all ticketed athletic events. Help support Mendham High School Sports. Truen Associates Insurance and Surety, Westfield, Clinton, New York City. Our goal is to provide our clients with a cost-effective risk management solution to minimize their exposure to financial loss. www.trueassoci.com Samsung, the world's largest electronics company. www.samsung.com slash US Mendham TV relies on sponsorships to bring you great community-oriented programs like this one. For further information, please email info at mendhamtv.org. You're watching Mendham TV.
watching Mendham TV. We are uh, back on the turf at Mendham Chester High School here at halftime with the score of Par Hills 9 and Mendham 7. And we are delighted to have a great halftime guest with us, George Muha. George, good to see you. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. And George, one of the real experts in Morris County and in the old days, the old Iron Hills Conference Sports. Ran a blog for many years. I know you're no longer doing that, but yep. I'd like to get your observations on this year's uh, football season. Around the, around the around conference. the conference, yeah, around the conference yeah. and county. Well, it's this is it's a balanced kind of year, it seems, right? It, it definitely does, especially this this division that that Randolph uh, that uh, Mendham got put into this right. year, which is uh, at the beginning of the season. I, I had an I, I had a feeling it was going to be a tough season for them, just because they're playing the Marstown, Roxbury, Randolph, West Morris. They're, they just don't get a break. Where last year. You know, they, they cut a couple yeah, break games. A couple, couple of games, yeah. yeah. Exactly a couple of games right. you can yeah. win right. Yeah. That and, was and then the year before that, they're playing mostly group two schools. Now right. it's all three and four. So That's right. All big schools. Big, big difference. Right. Yes. No weeks yeah. off. No, they definitely got their hands full. Yep. So who do you? who's your team the best you think in the county right now? Randolph, big win last night. Um, Randolph, deceptively good, at it, didn't you? I, I yep. didn't think yeah. they would be this good this year. I, I, you know what? I had some... Um, some moles okay. in, in the uh, right. system, and, and I, I had I did I was getting a lot of good good feedback about Randolph. Oh, were you really? And, okay. and uh, I, I had, I'm not I'm not surprised from what I heard from bef from before the season started, but uh, I, I I'm still surprised. I, I didn't think they would handle Marstown the way they did, and then and then again uh, last night against Beating West Central, Morris, right? that was a, did, that was a did big. Did you go game. to that game last night? No, I, I I didn't see it. Uh, yeah, I heard it was they dominated the game. Is that right? Yeah. Right. Scored yeah. two fourth quarter touchdowns to yeah. win it, but apparently yeah, we're but, you know, uh, playing throughout it throughout. The game. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. And, and you, it's good to see that from like a program from Randolph, who's been kind of having a bunch of off years and. You right. Know. Used to be a great football powerhouse. Actually broke Westfield's uh, longtime uh, winning streak. Uh, yeah. Under the, Bauer, right? Under yeah. Bauer, right? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, struggled over the last couple of years. Yep. What do you think about today's ball game? Nine seven at halftime. Yeah. Down. Got this uh, down early. Got the touchdown to. Cut it within two. That's right. That's it. You know, it's, and it's uh, the both teams are 0 4. Somebody's got to come out of, out of here with a win, and it looks like they're both they both want to have a win, and that's what you want to see in a game like this. Both teams playing well. No they turnovers given up, yet. Yeah, yeah, they haven't given right. up. That's right. That's right. that's right. Limited number of penalties. Both solid, yeah. solid games on both sides. Who impresses you on this uh, this Mendham team? Uh, I like I like um, I like Kuhn. I think he's a good running back. I really like Harrington. Okay, uh, the defensive back. He's playing right. great. He's playing great. All season, uh, even last year too. I noticed him. And then um, some of the younger guys I like. I like I like the quarterback Crow. And uh, probably the guy I think is going to make an impact the next couple of years is uh, Tamborello. Tamborello, right? That is great. How about that sack? What a sack! Yeah, Huge sack. He's a stud, yeah. you know. And uh, yeah. and he's, he's got a real football mentality. Yeah, right. He's got that. Yeah, yeah. He got that. He's got a good instinct. You can see good that. Instincts, right. It's the kind of guy. It's easy to root for. You know? Yeah, yeah. No, great, great, great player there. Great stuff. Now, the football season. Now, you 